This is an example view of a SAS dataset within the SAS system viewer. If you want to change the order of the columns, you can click and then hold down on your mouse. Notice that the mouse icon, pointer icon, changes with the little square. You can move it here and notice that this column will move over here. Within Enterprise Guide, you can do a similar thing in that you can click and then hold down on the mouse and then move that field over. Notice it changed the position. It's a little bit different in that when you click on the column, it doesn't really show you the the mouse uh, pointer icon doesn't change. So as you can move here, you're not sure if you're selecting it. If you want to hide certain columns within the view, within the SAS system viewer, you can select the column that you want to hide, right mouse click on it, and just say hide columns. You can do that for multiple columns as well by saying hide columns. There's one additional option in SAS System Viewer that you can uh, right mouse click and then choose column. This is a unique feature here where you can specify which columns to be displayed and which ones to be hidden as you can see from this selection. Um, so that's how you can select the exact columns you want to display. On Enterprise Guide, there's a similar option where you can select the columns and then hide, or you can select multiple columns and then hide those columns. The only uh, difference is that there's no options to select multiple columns with that selection box. Other than that selection box, it's the same as the SAS System Viewer.